Right, and we are about to get started now. So take it away, uh, Karthik. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Hello, everyone. Um, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. Uh, thanks for joining this session on uh, the IBM Informix. So I am Karthik Gopalakrishnan, the product manager for Informix. So I am here to discuss with you some of the plans that we have for IBM Informix for, for 2022 and also discuss about some of the releases uh, that went uh, or that bad GA'd in 2021. So let's get started. So as always, uh, the information contained in this uh, session are for informational purposes only. And uh, we do have to share this legal disclaimer where um, uh, the information in this, especially about the roadmap are subjected to a uh, change. And uh, for, for the latest information on the IBM roadmap or uh, the futures, uh, please refer to our external roadmap link, which I will share, or uh, you could always reach out to our IBM representative. So here's the agenda for today. So I'd like to first start with some market trends and then uh, tell you like how IBM strategy aligns with it and then show a recap of all the Informix releases that happened maybe uh, over the year and also maybe a very high level recap uh, of releases for over the last two decades. And then what is the Informix VNext strategy and what are the priorities for the Informix VNext uh, that is planned for 2022? And then touch upon the Informix on Cloud Pack for Data, which is our strategic direction to be on hybrid cloud. And then most importantly, some of the channels that we have are available for you to stay involved uh, with our product teams. So let's get started. So it is it is very important to start with market trends because uh, that's that's where we, we get a lot of things on uh, what our customers like, what our prospective customers want to go or want to see our product going. So, so let's start with the mega trends of our uh, database market that are uh, available from our many of our uh, worldwide analysts. So I want to start by the four uh, data points on the bottom of the screen that you see here. The first one being the data volumes and the formats exploding. So as we know that like uh, uh, the, the data is, is exploding and uh, one of the critical data points here is that the world will create definitely more than three times the data over the next five years as it did in the previous uh, five. So that means that it is inevitable that the volumes and the format of the data are also exploding. That's why you see a lot more uh, new formats evolving uh, in, in the DB space. Next data point, the critical data point from Gartner is, is the growth in the DPMS is majorly in the public cloud space. As many of you know, in over the last few years, uh, the majority of new applications are being uh, started or being deployed on on uh, on cloud. So this is evident from the DBMS market that grew 18.4 in 2018, where 68% of it in cloud. The the another major connecting uh, data point and uh, the third one is that. Having said about the cloud DBMS, it is it is to be noted that the on-prem deployments are still the lion's share of the market. So, so we know that from many of our analysts that that between two thirds to three fourths of our workloads are still on on-premise or will be on hybrid cloud in the future. So, finally, uh, it is it is very important that we embrace open source technologies, and uh, we know that many of our clients like you. 
uh, have at least three databases in your organization where, uh, for different types of applications. So it is very critical that we need to work closely with other open source technologies and open source databases uh, so that like in future where we, we kind of uh, evolve into a, a, a best uh, platform, database platform or data platform that can embrace all, all technologies. So having seen this market trends, uh, this the above uh, the or the 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 top part of the slide is shows how IBM strategy aligns with these market trends in the DBMS market. So the quote from our CEO explains our broader strategy where we are providing a hybrid cloud platform that straddles the public cloud and the private infrastructure. So he refers the hybrid cloud platform in conjunction to the Cloud Pack for Data platform, which is our premier multi-cloud hybrid cloud platform. So this, this platform interface basically, uh, which I will explain or go into in detail uh, in a bit, uh, brings together a numerous services or the portfolio of products from the IBM data and AI, and it stitches them together seamlessly. So uh, this, this is how IBM uh, strategy and especially the informic strategy will align to the market trends that we are seeing. And uh, with that, uh, I'll have to jump on to uh, maybe a short recap of Informix. So as you know, Informix is one of uh, uh, the flagship uh, database offerings for IBM. And uh, over the last two decades, we delivered many big version releases that helped us to leap boundaries in the database technology. So we see many database vendors today are coming up with uh, new uh, databases or new uh, databases for like say native time series database or uh, native JSON database, uh, or even say a database that can be embedded in a device. So Informix is, is one of the unique databases uh, that handle many databases for many, many years. The native time series and spatial, the native JSON and the embedded integration with myriads of devices, along with the enterprise capabilities are, are few innovations that we could probably brag about today. So our supported versions today uh, are, are the two versions in, in 2020, 2013 that was released, the 12.10 and the 14.10 that was released in 2019. So as we follow a continuous delivery model, uh, you would have seen significant improvements in, in terms of new capabilities and enhancements done in a very short interval time with, with fixed packs or mod pack releases. So, so that's a kind of a release model that helps us to uh, helps us to deliver continuous or continuous innovation, and also helps our customers uh, like you to upgrade as and when needed. So, uh, our investments in Informix over the last two decades have turned Informix into one of the uh, leading flagship database offerings in IBM, right? Uh, we can we can proudly say that today there are uh, uh, that we are one of the leaders in the database market uh, and our technology focus over last two technique two decades helped us to deliver unmatched distributional uh, distributed processing business continuity embedded integration and now uh, we are most importantly we are uh, delivering an unmatched hybrid cloud capabilities. So this slide again shows a, a kind of a recap of all the 2021 releases that we had for Informix. I have included the external roadmap. Uh, as always, like external roadmaps uh, are in AHA. So you could uh, uh, always Google it, Google the AHA link, or which I'll be able to, if I'm able to share this presentation, um, you will be able to get that AHA link. So. Uh, this, this is kind of a, a very high level overview of what we released in 2021. So as you can see, like we, we have two delivery streams. That is the standalone one, which is the 14.10, uh, which, ha which, uh, which, which did have like XC5 and XC6, and also XC7 that is coming up in uh, December 2021. We also still uh, continue to provide fixed packs for 12.10 release, uh, which came up in uh, June 2021. 
We also have another delivery stream that is a cloud pack for data or the Informix cartridge on cloud pack for data. This is specifically for the container based deployments where uh, cloud pack for data is our, our strategic directions for these container uh, based deployments. And it is inevitable that we need to support the latest version of cloud pack for data, which is uh, like we continue to do that. Now uh, we support up to 4.0 support. We are also on a very mature operator phase level on, on the Red Hat uh, lifecycle, which is the phase two and three operator. Uh, we support high availability of containers, and also there is an integrated uh, management console. So this shows that like some of these uh, releases that happened uh, over the year um, helped us to uh, leap significant boundaries in terms of the container maturity for the Informix. So uh, there are uh, many other uh, delivery options for Informix as well. It is available as a Docker container as well. And you could also deploy uh, Informix container outside the, uh, outside the Cloud Pack for data as a, as a, uh, under the uh, Red Hat OpenShift platform. So with this same delivery model, we are targeting our next version release in 2022. And we believe this version release of the vnext will help us to stay as leaders in the market and also leap new boundaries in the database management market so what is informix vnext so uh, we all know or we all know like some of the unique differentiators for informix so we want to continue to build on it so we see this uh, informix vnext as as a, as a release that will empower Informix or that will continue to build Informix as a low footprint database with multimodal capabilities that continues to provide the high performance with self-managing cloud native database capabilities. So this is the vision that we see uh, for the vNext. When I say vNext, it could it, it does not just mean one particular release on the vNext. It also uh, covers for the next two to three years, uh, say, for example, the next version release is version 15, which will span out in different mod packs and fixed packs, as I said earlier, uh, this, this vision applies to those, uh, to those uh, releases. Uh, having said about the vision of the VNX, it is important that some of the, it is important to review some of the priorities that we want to set for VNX. So we see that uh, upgrading our existing customers to this new feature release is one of the key milestones for this VNX. So um, that that is possible only if our customers see a major innovation happening in the VNX, which will eventually happen. And that's, that's why we have it as a major priority. Secondly, uh, as you know, like there are uh, certain use cases that Informix is the only database in the market that that leads its way. For example, the embed, the gaming, the time series, which where no other databases have capabilities that can provide our unmatched capabilities that can uh, lead like what Informix is doing today. So we want to grow in those uh, uh, directions. And that's why we have it as a second priority, growing new workloads by in these kind of niche use cases. Thirdly, or the most important um, priority for us is to help our customers modernize in a cloud native architecture. So this reflects back to the market trends piece that, that uh, um, I, uh, I, I covered a few minutes back. Uh, as we see our customers uh, moving towards a hybrid architecture, where they have to straddle between the uh, on-prem world as well as the cloud and also the private infrastructure. So we see this cloud native architecture or the empowering our customers with, with the cloud native architecture is a critical piece for their, uh, for their data and AI journey. And we believe we could do, the, we could do this using the cloud pack for data and the open shift uh, delivery options. And this is one of our major priority for the VNext as well. So this, this slide again shows kind of a, uh, some of the priorities we will or we have cut down for the first release of the VNext that, will, that we are planning for Q4 of 2022. So 
I have again included the external roadmap link, uh, which you could uh, keep following. If if there are any changes or if uh, there are any changes, you could you could definitely uh, keep a lookout for those changes in that external roadmap. So let's let's first look at the theme informing sunshine. So enable backups on uh, from HDR secondary. So this this basically allows uh, for reducing the load on your primary, right? And then enable CDC lock capture from secondary. This again uh, again helps you again uh, the reducing the load on your primary as well. And then uh, eliminating the limits. And as you know, like uh, uh, this this helps many DBAs uh, to increase their uptime, right? Reduce the chances of corruption and also provide the ability to massively scale up the DB. So this is one of the critical uh, changes that we'll be making to the core engine uh, that will impact or that will help uh, all our existing as well as new clients. Delight the client is again uh, is, is, is some of the uh, features that are, are, are features that are drawn from many of the ideas that you provided, like uh, the AHA ideas or the RFPs that you provided, and also some of the uh, features that we have had in our uh, client conversations. So improving external uh, tables to um, is, is one one of the aspect or one such uh, feature, like uh, and then point click setup for a time series database is another aspect like which will also help us to uh, differentiate in the time series use cases, uh, and the point click setup for clusters again that will help uh, that will enable clients to easily set up and utilize unmatched. Uh, business continuity options with the informex and we also have uh, obtaining the query plan from a running query so this is again uh, one of the rfe that was that was most asked for that we prioritize for the first cut of v next uh, that will help our clients to uh, uh, with a better troubleshooting during their query optimization uh, finally uh, the most important one is the modernization here uh, we, we are upgrading our GLS, bringing the IC, uh, ICU Unicode support uh, up to date. So this is, uh, this is something that we see as a strategic direction as well as something that uh, many of our clients requested for. Uh, Informix operator update is another delivery stream, as I said, will continue to mature. Uh, as you know, like currently Informix is operator is at a maturity level of phase three and will continue to invest in the area which will help our customers to uh, develop apps faster and also uh, innovate in in the in the containers container container space. The cloud pack for inter data integration is again a key my key piece here because this is our hybrid multi cloud platform that will help you to stitch uh, Informix as a service with uh, other services uh, in the cloud pack for data catalog. And uh, we'll continue to uh, innovate on the uh, developer tools and driver updates, which which we do every year. So having seen about the uh, Informix VNEX and the priorities for VNEX, uh, I would also like to give you a very uh, brief overview on what this Informix on Cloud Pack for Data, which is which is again our, our strategic direction for uh, our customers. Uh, for data and AI journey. So Informix on Cloud Pack for Data is nothing but uh, Informix packaged as both container as well as the standalone deployment model, along with the Red Hat OpenShift licenses with the Cloud Pack for Data platform capabilities. So let me explain it in a bit, uh, in a bit more. So as you know, Informix is, is today can be deployed in, in multiple ways. It could be deployed on premises or standalone. It could be deployed on Docker, or it could be deployed on Red Hat OpenShift platform as a container. So the, uh, we, we believe that Red Hat OpenShift platform uh, delivers the highest value of all these deployment factors. And hence, we picked this, this delivery stream as our strategic direction. With that, uh, the Cloud Pack for Data platform or the Cloud Pack for Data is, is a multi-cloud hybrid cloud platform that basically stitches or, or helps you to stitch all the services. For example, you could stitch Informix with uh, an AI service like Watson Studio or, or, or a data 
governance service uh, together and uh, use it in your applications. So Cloud Pack for Data includes 45 plus or 50 plus services uh, that are part of the IBM's data and AI portfolio. And Informix is, is one of the uh, service or, or leading service in that. And this, this will help you to stitch Informix service along with other services. So the reason we do that is uh, this base services that are part of the core Cloud Pack for Data can help you fast track to the end-to-end -end data and AI journey with a comprehensive set of data uh, capabilities. So some of the benefits of deploying Informix container today are, are, are absorbed from the direct benefits of deploying a database containers on your application. For example, rapid deployment. You can even set up a, a spin up a container and, and uh, uh, fast track your application development with the Informix container today that is available through Cloud Pack for Data or, 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 or as a native container. Automated administration. Again, uh, some of these are, are uh, uh, being lent from the Cloud Pack for Data, which, which helps you to uh, uh, ease the administration over it. And also the fact that containers are more easy to administrate uh, in terms of managing high availability or disaster recovery uh, makes it more usable. Uh, the ultimate reason why many of our customers today are going in the direction of containers are, are again to reduce their operation cost. So um, I have included some of the data, data points here and uh, uh, I highly recommend you to uh, go through that. Data virtualization is again another major uh, feature that is part of the Cloud Pack for Data platform. So here uh, Informix containers can be virtualized along with many other data sources. As I said uh, at the start of the presentation, we, we know that our customers uh, use multiple databases or data sources for different types of applications. And it is very important uh, that you join these data sources or, or you kind of visualize this and help it or take it forward to your data and AI journey. So the data virtualization part will, will help you to reduce the ETL cost and time, and it will uh, basically help you to join other data sources. For example, Informix can be virtualized along with uh, something like a DB2 or a, or a Postgres or a MongoDB, which, which will help you uh, reduce the uh, time of, of ETLs and also uh, take it forward with the uh, data and AI journey. Reducing the storage cost is another major benefit of the containers, uh, as you know. And then uh, developing applications faster, as I said, will, will help you to fast track the application developer, development process. So here uh, I have bookmarked some of the links, like uh, uh, um, the, the benefits related to the operational cost, or the benefits related to the storage cost, uh, and also uh, some of the benefits very specific to the Red Hat OpenShift platform that we can measure today. And uh, um, I highly recommend you to uh, view some of these uh, white papers that are available out in the net. So as you know, like Cloud Pack for Data includes many, many services. And, and uh, there is always a question, why do I need to pick specifically the Informix container than say a DB2 container or than say, Postgres or MongoDB, uh, which are also part of Cloud Pack Data. So uh, that there are many reasons to that, and uh, the reasons are 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 very obvious as well. As you know, Informix is is one of uh, the few databases that support a true hybrid data ingestion. So it supports both structured as well as unstructured data. It supports many data types, as I said, like JSON, JSON, time series, etc. Um, user-defined um, access methods. And it is also one of the unique databases where you can perform SQL and NoSQL operations together. None of the other databases in the market can, can or uh, to my knowledge, can uh, provide you an ability to do that in a single database instance. And uh, again, the, there are uh, um, other capabilities like multimodal uh, data management, um, the, which which helps you to 
uh, use it for a different use cases. So you could use it for OLTP, you should use, use it for OLAP and, and mixed workloads. And also you could use it for another uh, niche uh, use cases like time series, spatio-temporal, um, like, uh, like something like that could handle the GPS data and so on. Uh, most importantly, Informix, apart from all these hybrid uh, data ingestion and multimodal data management, it also brings together a lot of uh, enterprise capabilities around uh, the database. Like, for example, the highly resilient uh, database capabilities, uh, like the HA clustering, which is now available in the Informix containers, uh, are very useful uh, when you when you think about uh, um, when you think about an enterprise level database. Um, or, a, or a database that has an enterprise maturity, right? Enterprise replication, sharded tables are, are some of these capabilities. Most importantly, analytics at scale are, 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 are uh, uh, again, a very key uh, aspect of this uh, picking a, a database container. So as you know, uh, customers often uh, use or modernize to containers to fast track their data and AI journey. And it is very important that the database itself has a lot of analytical capabilities and Informix do have in terms of time series, spatial temporal analytics, the warehouse accelerator and et cetera. The security and compliance is, 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 is one of the areas that Informix is, has been very well known for. Uh, it's one of the secure databases. So uh, it, it has reached in a, a, a maturity level where encryption of data in transit and rest are available. We have the, we are compliant with our latest uh, latest certifications and compliances uh, and the finally the most important one is the developer inclusive which which where we uh, provide a uh, language and driver support for major uh, programming languages today and also there are a lot of uh, uh, application developer kit that are available so uh, with that i think uh, we have uh, come to the end of this presentation uh, our, uh, my goal of this presentation is to give you a sense of where we are with Informix today uh, and what we have done in a uh, year last year and what, where we want to go next year and also uh, give you an overview of what uh, the Informix on Cloud Pack for Data uh, means to you and, and how, what are the value propositions for you to uh, use it for uh, your data and AI journey. There are a lot of ways to uh, engage with us. Uh, the Informix or the International Informix user group is, is one of the vibrant uh, user groups I have seen personally. So that is something I highly recommend you to uh, ho uh, like uh, hop on and uh, engage with other users as well as the leaders in this uh, Informix market. Uh, request for enhancements or the idea portal is, is another uh, portal which uh, you could leverage to uh, like view some of the ideas that uh, uh, customers around the globe are, are posting for Informix and also post your ideas, which could be voted up and at some point of time be prioritized for the uh, Informix roadmap, which we do in every roadmap planning process. NPS service is something that you might get uh, every now and then if you are an existing customer of Informix. So feel free to provide your feedback on those info MPS surveys. We do uh, monitor all those surveys and, and uh, um, we do respond to those uh, um, uh, comments like our issues that you raise through those surveys. And IBM Communities uh, is, is another a major channel where we see our users engaging uh, with each other and also with engaging with our IBM. We also have our uh, social media handle. Um, with that, I also included a few links to our uh, past presentations. Um, that I'm going to take a pause here and see uh, if there are any questions in the chat. Cool. I I don't see any questions so far. But I will be definitely looking at the Be My App uh, and for any any questions after this session, um, and I'll I'll respond to it um, as as you may have any any of those.
So thank you again. Uh,